birch and burbage if I've been told that uh, I can probably drive on it. So I'm going to do a little check and hopefully drive out onto the ice. Here we are, rigged up for pike. I haven't used these rigs much, but I'm going to try them. Predator rig it's called. Nice gross smelt, stinks real bad. Got another tip up rig. Got a pickerel rig with a schmelt on the bottom and a cocktail shrimp on that one. We've got some other anglers out in the area right now. There's two uh, older gentlemen over there that both have ice shacks, but looks like there's more visiting than fishing going on. It's a nice big morning pipe. Come here. That's an oarsman. Caught one. Nothing like hammering a northern pike on a perch rig. <laughs> <laughs> Not real big, but a beautiful little snot rocket. Look at that, he hit that just like nothing. There was perch coming in on the camera, so I put my little wee hook on. I believe it's a Swedish pimple, is what they call it. And I thought, well, I'll use that for these perch, and bang. Northern Pike, he just come in real aggressive. He hit it, knocked my bait off, come back, and he hit it a second time. Right, folks, I'm going to release this gorgeous Northern Pike back into the place he come from. I'm sure he wants to go home. Curiosity killed the cat. He's, he's getting fucking hyper overnight. Nope. We just arrived at the lake here, driving out on the ice. Got 13 inches of ice. Taking it easy, I'm not going very fast. I don't want to break through. You look ahead here, we've got two other shacks set up. And off to our right, there's quite a few shacks out here. There's two there, and around the corner, there's a whole city of them. How thick the ice is? 12 inches is about what it is. I got two lines rigged here. I got a Swedish pimple with a chicken heart hanging off it and a jig. Deciding shrimps to bait. They love <gasps> I have to find a way to hook these fucking things. I can't get the hook to set. They bite and they bite and I cannot catch anything. Kind of fun watching them at least. God, I struggled with that. Got him on the right hook and everything. It's a beautiful mm. Swedish pimple with a chicken heart. Finally, and it's a good one. That just shows you how patient you gotta be with these fish, people. I mean, I bet you it was, what would you say, 25 minutes? Yeah. Half an hour, maybe more. Decent one. 
shanty here and my feet are getting a little cold so I'm putting my sock in front of my Mr. Heater Buddy Heater. Seems to dry him out pretty good. He's big. With this. Yes, because there's too many fucking lines in the water and stuff. <sighs> it's fucking all tangled up. You're just on the edge of the, of the ice. It's fucking tangled in the other line. Oh. <sighs> Fuck. I like this one anyway. I don't know where my hook is. I don't have the first one. He's biting it right now. I can feel it. Got him? Yep, finally got him. Oh, oh he looks big. Okay, okay. Oh, he won't even fit. No, he'll fit, hole. he'll fit, he'll fit. I just gotta Shit. calm down here and get my gaff so I can gaff him. Yeah. Got him, I got the gaff. Beautiful white fish, he's huge. Way. But he's a big boy. Played with him for well over half an hour before I was finally able to hook him. And uh, one of the biggest white fish I've ever caught. Alright, I'm just gonna grab some real quick measurements on our fish here just to grab my feet for fun to uh, see how big they are. The whitey first. 24 and a half inches. I'm up for the day I got two northern pike and one whitefish decent size I'm pretty excited about it we're just idling off the lake here now we're driving on 11 inches of ice you do not want to be speeding I like to go about five that's that's about it just got one fillet off that whitefish and I mean look at the size of it I've got two of these all done filleting the whitefish this is what I got off it quite a bit of fish I'm pretty impressed Deboned and everything, so I'm excited. We're arriving at the same location. Yesterday was pretty successful. Caught a couple northerns and a large white fish, so pretty excited about that. I'm gonna try it again for the third day in a row. I'm just idling across the ice again, five kilometers an hour. Every day there's more and more shacks out here, I'm starting to notice. Like I see 
four new ones over there, so there's two there, so they're moving them in daily. Looks like we got a family game of hockey going on here on the ice off to our left. I seen them snow blowing it off yesterday, so must have been getting her ready to have a hockey game this beautiful Sunday. It looks like there's some little kids and a big tall man playing hockey with them, so it's enjoyable, I'm sure. Just leaving, it's 4.12. Third day of fishing here in the same location. Not very good today. I had one pike come in and he bit, but the mine snapped. Lost him. It's the only thing all day that came in at all. There was a few perch, but couldn't even get him to be interested in the hook at all. He just swam right by, sniffed around, that was it. Not biting at all. Lots of noise on the ice today. Not a very good day. Sunday, I guess. Better. The last day, gotta go home tonight. The thing yesterday was a was a bust, nothing at all. One pike bit, but I lost him. Gonna drive on to the lake town, slow and easy as usual. Still 11 inches of ice. Hopefully we can latch on to something today. If not, uh, better luck next time. I got less people here today, so that's always a good sign. Yesterday it was like a freaking it's like going to the city. It was terrible. People everywhere, skidoos, drunks, drilling holes all day, like just steady. <laughs> like you must have drilled 400 holes for himself. That's off topic. I'm just gonna bite before I'm ready. back. Thank you.